seconde foudroyante ça. The first jumping seconds went by the name of Diablotine. Alors c'est Diablotine. This Diablotine, a small hand that makes one sweep of the dial per second, was found on watches used by artillery officers. d'artillerie. Pourquoi Why? Well, we all know that the speed of sound and the speed of light are the same. First you see, and then you hear. Artillery officers use this knowledge to measure the distance from the enemy. Given that they would first see the cannon fire, and then hear it. The difference in seconds, or fractions of a second, between the two, told them how far the enemy was, so that they could then train the cannons to fire, hopefully, straight at them. Le principe de tout mouvement, que ce soit seconde foudroyante. The basic principle of any movement, whether jumping seconds or a simple movement, is a plate, which you could say is the platform. And bridges that secure the moving parts, which are the gears, to this platform. Mobile du mouvement, les engrenages. The very first jumping seconds measured the duration of an event to within a quarter of a second. Today, we're down to an eighth of a second. The jumping seconds mechanism needs its own power supply. The mechanism for a chronograph with jumping seconds will therefore not have one, but two barrels. The second barrel supplies power to the jumping seconds, which also has its own escapement. You could say a jumping seconds is really a structure within a structure. Compared with a classic chronograph, where you try and read the fraction of a second from the end of the seconds hand, perhaps not as accurately as you might like, the jumping seconds actually breaks the second into fractions, so you can read the time with far greater precision. I like all types of complication whether jumping seconds or something else. Not necessarily because they're directly useful to me. I like them because ultimately they bring us the charm of mechanical watches, which solve problems of how to measure time or the duration of an event in a really lovely way.